Okay, I know you want to. So in this video, I'm going to finally show you how you can make your very own awesome parametrically defined paths. Um, remember the big idea of a parametrically defined path is that you have two equations, one that tells you your x position as a function of time and the other that tells you your y position as a function of time. So uh, x and y have special names in Desmos um, so that we can't, they're reserved so that we can't use them. Um, so we're gonna call our function x and then hit the number one and it will add it as a subscript. And we're gonna have t be our variable. So this is saying x1 is the name of our function and it's a function of time. Um, so let's do maybe t minus one and t minus, whoops, t minus two and t minus four. So now we've got um, this kind of zigzaggy shape. And you can take a minute if you want to and imagine what is this actually telling you about the x motion. If x starts negative, that means I'm on the left side of the screen. And as x goes from negative to positive, that means I'm moving from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. So it's like I'm going to move from left to right and then back left again and then back right off the edge. So now let's make the y equation. We'll do y and then hit one as the subscript. We'll make it a function of time. Let's make this maybe t, t plus one, t minus three, something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's like add three on the outside. Okay, great. Um, so now I'm gonna hide these two equations because I don't actually care about those. I wanna know what is the actual path that those two define. So open a set of parentheses you're gonna say x1 as a function of time, lowercase, then y1 as a function of time, lowercase. And here you're seeing a plot of the parametrically defined curve, but only for times starting at zero going to one. So you see this is ordinarily where the x coordinate would occur. And we're saying take the x coordinates from that equation. And here we're saying take the y coordinates from this other equation. So let's go from time negative three to time positive three. Five, six, five. All right, so we got this cool curly cue. Um, but how do you make a cool point move along it? I will show you. So let's open another set of parentheses, uh, x1 with a capital T and y1 with a capital T. Um, there's nothing special about the capital T. You could, you could have a capital A if you wanted to. This is just our own variable that's gonna represent a particular moment of time. There is something special about the lowercase t here. Um, this is like a predefined Desmos thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a slider for time. We're gonna change its bounds so that it goes from time negative three to time positive five. And I'm gonna click here to change the animation properties so that it is only going forwards. So we're only animating time forwards. So dragged it over here to negative three and you can press play. And there's the point. You see it moving along the path. Um, so if you ever wanna play around with your own parametrically defined curves, that is a good way to do it.